Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're continuing our walk along the old railway line which ran from Leek up towards Macclesfield. The other day we did the section along by Rudyard Lake. Today we're just past Rudyard Lake. The end of the lake is just over there on the other side of the trees and the field. And we're coming up to the station that was originally called Rudyard Lake because as I explained in the other video, the original station, or should I say the other station up at the other end, was originally called Rudyard, was renamed Rudyard Lake. That is the station where, which is currently the site of the headquarters of the Rudyard Lake Railway. So the station we're at now, we're just coming into it. This is the site of the station. This was originally called Rudyard Lake. It was added later. It opened in 1905, but then in 1926, it was renamed Cliff Park because, I'll put a link to it, but about a year ago we did a video where we went up and had a look at Cliff Park Hall, which at the time when this station was open was the clubhouse for the golf course. So you can't really see a huge amount, but you can just sort of see where the platforms would have been. There's a bridge up here and um, there's some, I could just see where you'd have walked down ramps on each side of the track. So there'd been a ramp down there and I think this is sort of the overgrown remains of one of the ramps. We, we try, I won't try and go up it because it looks a bit, I'll just show you, looks a bit too overgrown but you can imagine people coming off the train, you know Victorians and Edwardians walking off up here all dressed nicely and everything perhaps going either to play golf or going to have a look at the Rudyard Lake, maybe go for a boat ride. So this was the station. So it really was built to bring people to Rudyard Lake. It wasn't really used by any locals because there isn't really anywhere around here. The locals, probably the ones who live near Rudyard Lake, would have used the other station, which eventually became Rudyard Lake. And anyone else around here would have probably used Rushton Station, which will be the subject of the next video. So we've just come under where the station would have been and then the road access would have been off that lane so there'd have been no goods facilities or anything here there might have been a siding perhaps for excursion trains to have stabled on so what happens here the trap bed carries on so i'm going to walk on up towards rushton station and um, see what we can find so what i'll do i know this video was a bit of a short one because there wasn't a huge amount to show you regarding what's left at the station but I just wanted to show you you know the idea is if I cover as we walk along I like to show you every station where there was so I will cover it even if there isn't a lot to see so what happens now the trap bed carries on there's a sort of a road just along there which you can use if you park at this end of Rudyard Lake although if you park at this end it's a fair walk, well, more than a mile to the other end. Well, that said, you could park at this end, jump on the train, and uh, that will take you to Rudyard Lake. I mean, park, car parking's free at either end, so... Um, but, yeah, it's, if you come here, it's your choice how you wish to visit it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to carry on walking along the railway's track bed. Hope you enjoyed this video, and the next one will be from Rushton Station. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.